look at this, all this north windblown rain has completely saturated the north wall of this straw bale house um, that has earthen clay plaster on it with just a very thin lime skin, but that lime skin is not enough to keep all the moisture from absorbing into that clay plaster, making it swell and falling off the walls. Um, this is not good uh, at all. Uh, it rained super hard for like 16 hours, blowing water into this north facing wall. Our Hurricane Ian completely saturated the wall, soaked the earth and clay plaster underneath that thin lime skin coat. And the clay got so heavy that it started falling off the walls. And so now we're gonna go back and add three coats of lime. So we gotta get rid of pretty much all of the earth and plaster down to the slip coat of clay. And show us how you scrape it, Amelia. I'm gonna get underneath. Yeah. Woo! Watch out. Yeah, we're gonna get not quite all the way down to the straw bales. We put a slip coat of clay plaster to protect the bales, and uh, I don't want it to be super exposed until we fix it. But we're gonna go ahead and get all this plaster off and get ready for new. Looks like a butterfly, doesn't it? A shamrock leaf. And this light fixture is like basically falling off the wall now. It's got no plaster backing back here on the bottom to sit against. There were bully pulleys in the house. Is it recording? Yeah. All right. So for those of you who are curious, the plaster most of this fell off last night during hurricane ian oh my god y'all hurricane ian is pretty much destroying my house most of the plaster fell off last night and i'm going through and kind of loosening up the last little bits of clay to get them off and cleaning up and exposing the metal lath at the bottom we got burlap around the windows. I want to be able to key into that really well with the lime that's going to go on top. Um, Murray, come around here and stand right there. And show everybody here, look, look, hey, 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 look. This right here, can you see this, where my hand is? Right here. This is the straw underneath. And you can see, even though this got hammered by the wind and rain, it is very clean and mold free and dry. This is pretty typical. Even though this stuff got hammered by rain, even just this little bit of mud protected the bales. So for years and years, it had an inch of plaster on top of it and it protected it from all the rain and wind. And you know, this is what was sitting on top lime on the outside a little thin skim coat of lime plaster with about three quarters of an inch of and earthen then, plaster and i'm going to go ahead and just loosen all this up and get it down to where we have just that slip coat of clay and lime and a little bit of loose rock in there as an aggregate to hold it all together um i like i like to have this covered up um the straw covered up so that there's no a lot not a lot of direct contact between the lime plaster and the straw. I like to cover that with mud, earth and clay plaster to protect it from that corrosive lime. Um, and then the first coat of lime plaster, we will use a about 25% clay binder with 75% lime binder and sand. Um, and, then, um, and then the next coat we're gonna use either 75% um, or pretty much 90% lime, 10% clay, and the rest sand, and then 100% lime plaster to finish. Um, so as you can see around here, the light, we got this lath. I wanna get all that mud, the loose mud. 
so that the lime plaster can key into that and be really strong. Right here around the doors, we're gonna free all this clay up. Yep. So we can get a nice clean coat of lime. And then here, I'm just shoveling this stuff out. Save some of this clay. clay because I'll be able to use a little bit of it for that first coat. And we're going to mix clay and lime together because like bonds to like. Clay likes to bond to clay, but if we mix it with a little bit of lime, that lime plaster mixed with a little clay is going to bind really well to this clay slip. Right now we got it cleaned up. We're just going to get a little bit more of this off, loosen up that loose mud so that we can get a nice, good bond.